everyone and welcome to day 24 of our Advent readings, which means there's only one more sleep before the big day. Well, today's reading is often identified or often more identified with Easter than it is with Christmas. But both, to me, are inseparable and speak about the purpose of Jesus' birth. Let's just pray before we go any further. Heavenly Father, would you please reveal yourself to us as we read your word together? So the reading uh, today is from the book of Romans chapter 5 and it says this When we were utterly helpless, Jesus came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Jesus Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by Jesus' blood freely shed for us, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while he, we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. Jesus came as a tiny baby at Christmas, born in a messy stable in Bethlehem, grew up in Nazareth, and 33 years later, he died for us. He died for you and me, so that we can have eternal life. That's a wonderful hope that we can have through the truth of the Christmas story, that Jesus came and gave, his, gave us eternal life by restoring our relationship with God, which I don't know about you, but I think is absolutely amazing. You know, a few chapters on uh, in, in the book of, of, of Romans, we read that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us from God's love expressed in Jesus at this Christmas time, which is good news. I, I, I think it is. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus into this world and for the new life of renewed relationship he offers with you both now and forever. We pray for our family, our friends, our community this Christmas, that we may know your love in a very, very personal way through Jesus. We pray that this love, that as this love develops in us, that true joy, peace and hope will arise in our hearts as we celebrate this most momentous of historical events. In Jesus' name we ask you, amen. Guys, have a great Christmas from all of us at Gateway Church. And if you want to speak to any of us about what uh, you've heard uh, shared during this ad these Advent readings, then please do not hesitate to get in touch. Remember, God loves us so much that he gave his son for us. Have a very, very happy Christmas.